if you're taking too much fish oil, we don't even recommend fish oil because we think that there's some rancidity in oils. And we use an algae-based DHA that we keep refrigerated in park and dark glass to reduce the rancidity because, you know, we're saying that the oils in your body, your fats in your body become rancid. That's what lipid peroxidase is. So the oils get rancid out of the body too. So we're putting clean oil into the body. So we adjust that to get a favorable DHA. So it's cheaper to get a high dose. It's better, cheaper to get a higher dose with fish oil. But if you take too much fish oil, especially too much EPA, it can thin the blood too much. But if you take like three or four grams of fish oil a day, the EPA component can make it more likely to bleed and can more likely have a hemorrhagic stroke and could actually suppress immune function and potentially increase of some infectious related agent. But that's when you're using a fish oil as a pharmacologic dose to thin the blood or to treat a problem. Right. We're not using it pharmacologically. We're using a much lower nutritive dose. So yes, you can get to a dose that's really high, so just like any other nutrient. If you take too much vitamin D, if you take too much iodine, you could take most any nutrient in excessive amounts can cause harm, but it doesn't mean you want to be deficient in it either.